Ice. Los Alamos, New Mexico, March 1983. New Mexico, I think that's in the States. What's happening? Is this the boy? He was bullied into like a coma? Jesus, that's some, like, he wasn't bullied, he was brutally beaten. Can you remember anything, anything from your attackers? Nothing. That's fine, I'll talk to you when you're out of a coma. Maybe this is his father. But I think it's the detective. Hoping to get just a single clue. Oh, he's writing something. He's writing a name. But the detective walks away before he sees it. Damn. Oh, who's this? Is that the boy? Did he get up and he left? Wait, he jumped to the ground? What did he write on the notepad before the... I'm sorry, Abby. Two weeks earlier, Owen. I'm sorry, Abby. What could it mean? What you doing in the snow there, Owen? Maybe this is the boy who gets beaten. Maybe he's the one we see in a coma later. Dishes are piling up. Single mom doesn't have time to look after her son and do the dishes. And this is probably his bully, some crazy boy who lives like alone. Maybe it's not a single mom. Virginia, she's getting it on downstairs. And look, Owen's peering through. I guess Owen was the boy I thought was the crazy boy. He's not crazy, he just has a mask on. Thomas, is he abusing this girl, Virginia? Abby? Yeah, or is Abby, some little girl was being abused by Thomas? Owen knows too. There's Kenny. Okay, that's one of the boys who's gonna bully him. Wait, it's a vampire, so maybe the man wasn't abusing the girl. The girl's abusing the man, it's a little vampire girl. Kenny, stop bullying Owen. You're gonna get it when he gets a vampire girlfriend. He's gonna have the hottest vampire girlfriend. He's, they're giving him wedgies. Oh, look, he's peeing himself. Everybody's laughing at him. And now he's giving money and gum as payment to these bullies. He hates it, though. He hates being bullied. He's taking it out on the tree. Here comes this little girl out of nowhere. Is this Abby or is this Virginia? Hey, little boy. You're not going to solve your problems by beating up that tree. This man comes out, walks away with our little girl. What could it all mean? Boo, 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 train, waiting for a train. I hate waiting for trains. Sometimes these things take five minutes. Who's been strung up? Who's been strung up? No. Draining the blood? Oh. But it falls. His blood falls. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, all the blood he worked so hard on draining fell. Now his vampire that he has is going to go hungry. Owen saw. Did Owen see? The man draining the blood? That old man who lives next door has just been killing people for his vampire daughter. Yeah, this guy's a detective. We're still in the two weeks earlier from the coma. Remember that. Owen, figuring out a Rubik's Cube. Vampire girl coming up behind him. She's not really wearing much of a winter jacket, just a sweater. Her feet are exposed. Aren't you cold? I don't get cold. I like the cold. In fact, it's the daylight and the sun I don't like. Oh, the Rubik's Cube falls. And here we have our little girl huddled there. Jack, come in and hey, little girl. Let me take you somewhere safe. Ga, 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 ga. Sorry, Jack, you're going to get eaten by our, I think Abby's the name of the vampire. Damn. Damn. Well, Jack was a child predator, obviously. Maybe he was going to help her. We don't know. We don't know. Needless to say, he was probably a child predator because he got eaten. What's going on? Bodies being thrown in the river, dumped. And look, Jack. I mean, oh, and your Rubik's Cube has been solved by Abby. Abby, you solved this? Wow, you're so smart. It was easy for me. I'm like a thousand years old, actually. So I'm really smart. That's so cool, Abby. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Sure, I'll be your boyfriend. Don't be her girlfriend, dude. She's a vampire. Morse code. 
Oh, here's Kenny or Bully again. Another day with the bullies. Little do they know, your situation has changed. You now have a vampire on your side. Boom. Oh, oh, he's bleeding. Abby's gonna be like, who made you bleed like this? He's gonna go see Abby outside. She's gonna lick his blood. Look, Abby smells the blood. Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Oh, that is the book you make Abby read. Because you want her to be your Juliet. But she's only interested in the blood on her cheek, Owen. Look, look at her eyes looking to the side. Just looking at that blood. Every time she stares at you, she sees a nice, tasty little Owen tree. She's going for it. See, she's going for it. Some bullies hurt me. What? But now she's angry. She's like, nobody. But nobody gets my little Owen's blood but me. Don't worry. I'm going to hurt these bullies for you. Just wait here, Owen. All right. Owen. He's going to talk to who? The coach, maybe? No, that's his dad. Stealing money from his dad and his mom's wallet to take his girl out, Owen. Valiant effort. Worth it. Worth it. You gotta steal 20 bucks from your parents to take out this hottie? It's worth money well stolen. All right. Now you've got a girlfriend and she's got superpowers. Life is going your way. Life is really going your way. She's not used to this affection either because she's a vampire. People have always been scared of her, but not you, Owen. You're different. Because Owen's scared of everybody else. So to him, you seem safe. Okay. Oh, holding hands. Is that his mom, though, who sees him? Who saw Owen holding hands with Abby? Now Abby's back to her home. This is her weird dad, who knows she's a vampire and gets people for her to eat. But Abby sort of is in charge and controls her. Abby was mean there. Did you see that? He's scared of Abby. Abby's nice to Owen, but not so nice to her dad. Who's, who's in the trunk there? Like, it can't be Owen. Kenny's not old enough to get a car. Man, it looks like Kenny and the boys have taken Owen. Oh no, Abby. Is that Abby? Is she in the back? Damn. Look, here's some bullies. They're running though, their car's been stolen. They don't understand why. The old man helped steal the car after Abby killed these guys. Now they've crash landed. Not a very good driver, old man. The bully boys are after you. You did steal their car. Oh, he's pouring acid on his face or water so he's unrecognizable? What is he doing? Abby wasn't with him. It was just the old man acting alone. Is she radioing or who is this? Abby's got like a maid who lives in her house? What is this? Oh no, she just went into like a hotel. That girl, that woman, oh Abby was in a hospital. Because her dad's in the hospital. So she came to check up on him. She's got nobody now. Look, her dad's face has been burned off. He went after those boys for Abby, and then he burnt his face off so people wouldn't recognize he did it. Abby's tossing him off and killing him. God damn. Was that the guy who was in a coma who said, sorry, Abby? God damn. Why did he have to die to those bully boys? Oh, he was going to get another person for Abby to eat. That's it. He was like, oh, I guess these bullies are a good choice. I'll get one of them for Abby to feed on because he's getting girls or people for his girl to feed on and eat. But now Abby's sleeping in the same room as Owen? I must be gone and live or stay and die. Abby. No, Abby left because she knew if she stayed, she'd have to eat Owen eventually. Kenny. I thought Abby was going to get his bullets, but maybe he's brave now because of Abby. Hey, hey, his ears bleeding. What's this we found in the ice? The kid fall in the ice that he hit? That doesn't make any sense. Special investigator Cantier, here's your boy about the incident. Abby's still here. I thought she said she was leaving. Or maybe she just 
left Owen. She's still hanging around. She just doesn't see him anymore. Owen, though, who? Working out. The bullies. Oh, now these guys are bullying the guy who's bullying Owen. Owen's back with Abby. Looks like she came back for him. So sweet. She couldn't stay away from him. Now she's taking Owen to her place. This is where I live, all on my own. You can come live here with me if you want. I'm a vampire though, so I have to suck blood. And now Owen's like, you can have my blood if you want it. Look, her vampire face is coming out. She's licking the blood off the floor. Oh, she's licking your blood off the floor. Is she gonna eat you now, Owen? No, she's run away up to a tree. She couldn't eat Owen, but she's hungry. She's going after this girl. No, just some innocent who's ripping you off. She didn't get her fully though. And she escapes. Owen knows what happened as he puts the bandage over him. He knows it was Abby. Abby, please. Please, Abby, answer the phone. I need to talk to you. I'm in love with you. I don't care if you're a vampire. We'll figure it out. You don't have to eat any more people. I know you're good. But Abby didn't pick up, so we went to see her. I was like, you shouldn't have come. Owen's like, I'm in love with you. Abby's like, I'm 900. I shouldn't have started a relationship with a young boy like you. You don't understand. Owen's like, all I need to understand is my heart. And we'll figure this out together. See, there's a really pic old picture of Abby. How old are you? Maybe he didn't know before. Is this Abby finally revealing his age? And he's like, that's gross, you old hag. No, he doesn't care. Owen's in love. Larry. There's so many victims at the hospital. Look at her. She was bit, though. So she's going to turn. Yeah, she's definitely going to turn. She's drinking the blood out of the IV. Oh, she's going to eat this nurse. She's drinking her own blood. But they light her on fire to kill her. Yeah, so the vampire doesn't go. Good work, nurse. You had to sacrifice yourself, but you knew how to kill a vampire. It took your split second. You're like, vampires are real? Light us both on fire. Done. Now Abby's come to you, Owen, because she's decided that she's in love with you too. She's going to fight for this relationship. Stop it, Abby. You don't have to do this. No. No. Did Abby kill herself? What happened? She was just covered in her own blood there for a second. But she's washing off. She's okay. Quickly, hide. Somebody's coming. Oh. 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? They now have apartments next to each other. Abby got the apartment next door. Hi, Owen. Good morning. I'm in the bathroom, please. Something. Abby left him a note. He doesn't know whether to open the door for the detective. This detective, nobody opens the doors for him. Must suck to be him. He's in, though. What's he scared of? Owen's hiding. Could this be Abby's place? Look at all these ideas. He sees the note. Reading it. There's Abby. Sleeping like in a coffin. He knows she's a vampire now. He opens it for sunlight. Please don't. Boom, boom, boom. But the bullets wake up. Abby, Abby takes down the detective. No, Abby, you've killed again. You promised you wouldn't. I had to, Owen. He was going to kill us. Now Owen's scared and Abby's hugging him. Oh, Owen. Now I've eaten. And we don't have any more problems. But Owen's so sad that he's involved with this death. Maybe Abby decided that that was too much for Owen's little heart, and she has to leave forever. What's going on, though? There's a fire? People are running? Owen's like, what's happening? Owen's running, running. He's getting bullied. The bullies are getting him. He's drowning. They're drowning him. They're finally going to hurt him for good. But little does he know, Abby's been watching over him. She never left. And just as he's about to drown, look, blood is pour pouring into the water. What's all this blood from? He gets to swim up. And they're all 
Did you see that? He made it out and there were all these bodies in the water. And look, who's gonna be there? But Abby. And now he's on a train because he's decided he's gotta leave home to be with Abby for good. He end. Well, heartwarming story of a young vampire and a young boy who fall in love and kill a lot of people along the way. If you want to watch another one with me, click here. If you want to see my favorite Twitch streamer, click here. Have a great day.